Uh, good evening, Dave French here, State Representative for the 40th District, and I'm with uh, Dave Beeler, who is running for that seat as I'm retiring this year. And uh, Dave, I think we've gone over your past uh, experience and mm -hmm. history, but the thing I think you've uh, maybe you've left out a little bit is, is that you, you your, your new district is expanded somewhat because of the redistricting into the county, where I never had that kind mm -hmm. of county uh, level of rural constituents that you're going to have and many of them are going to say well who's this city boy this is, mm -hmm. you know plant manager uh, navy captain but what can he do for the for the farmer and the rancher out in in western kansas or even out in uh, leavenworth county here so if, if you can just kind of give us a some background i know you have some in in the, sure. the rural discussions and issues and that sort of thing. Okay. And I know you'll be addressing a lot of those when you get to the state house. Okay. So. It's a fair question. So, haven't really talked about this a whole lot, but I was born in Great Bend, Kansas. And for those of you who know the state of Kansas, that's Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz <laughs> country. It's out there. Uh, it's originally where I, where I call home. And my ancestors came to this country from Germany, Austria, Poland, Bohemia in the late 1880s, and they were homesteaders. And they farmed in Barton County, Russell County, and in that area, uh, up through my mother, mother's generation. My, I'm really the first generation that didn't stay on the farm. So with that, and as a kid and as a young man, um, I had plenty of experiences on my grandfather's farm. Um, my Aunt Velma and all of my relatives out in Barton County were wheat farmers. They grew Milo. My grandfather was also a, a, a rancher. And he also worked in the oil wells, very hardworking man. So as a young kid, whether it was riding on a hay wagon with him or watching him work on his international tractors or the, or the combines during wheat harvest, got that appreciation for agriculture and what agriculture is. Uh, as a young man, um, I worked on my Aunt Velma's farm uh, the summer actually before Lisa and I got married uh, with my cousins uh, from the time of wheat harvest up until the time we were, were planting wheat for the fall. Now again, if you go back that far, uh, farming technology has changed quite a little bit. Uh, the equipment is uh, much more technologically advanced today than it was then. The cost have increased. The cost, sure. cost have increased. Uh, the size of farms have gone up. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that um, I could go out and, and farm today because farmers today have to know horticulture, they have to know mechanics, they have to know the business side. It, it is so complex. I've got can't, I've, my cousins that still farm in Barton County um, are big wheat farmers. They, they hay alfalfa and other crops. We go out there and help them. Uh, in fact, this was supposed to be the summer that I got to go back and help for wheat harvest, but campaigning has is, is, uh, got, got in the way of that. But I have a, I have a, a very uh, detailed, I think, appreciation for what they do and what it takes to make a living uh, in farming today. And I know this. Um, the agricultural community and the farmers around here, whether it's Western Kansas or, or Leavenworth County, they need to know uh, that their representatives at least have some appreciation of what it takes um, to make it in, in ag. Uh, my wife's family in Leavenworth County are, were dairy farmers for years. And going out and watching the dairy operation on, on, uh, on Clark and Francis Aaron's farm was a tremendous awakening for me. They still do it. Um, they don't dairy farm anymore, but they, they raise corn, they raise beans, and have some, some, some beef cows out there. So I've got that connection. I have an appreciation for what they do. I have the highest respect for what people in agriculture do. I know that they need legislators who understand that, and that will be there to support them going forward. And I pledge to do that. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, I, I grew up in Texas, and so you would think that I would know a whole lot about farming and ranching and all of that, but my only experience in that field is uh, I went out with my college roommate one summer and worked on his ranch for three months and that's when I gave up ranching. <laughs> yeah. That is hard work. It's, it's and a, we don't realize how much hard yeah. work and how costly it is today. Yeah. Uh, those people are feeding us and we just don't appreciate yeah. it enough. So and this state this state really depends on it. Well so, said. Uh, that experience you have is going to be invaluable because there's a lot of the representatives from eastern Kansas 
from Johnson County or wherever have no idea about ag agriculture. Yeah. So that experience is going to help besides the leadership that you also have demonstrated through your other fields of endeavor. So uh, I just wanted to make sure that uh, the voter understands that uh, you're bringing the total package to this deal. So try to. Good luck, Dave, and we hope to see you there in January. All right. Thanks so much, Dave. Sure thing. Mm -hmm.